All right, now I'm going to start working on the muscles of the face. What I've done is I've uh, taken the photographs I got and I've mounted them to the turntable with a piece of clay in the front and a piece of clay in the back to wedge the print on the uh, board so that it won't fall. And it's right there so I can look at it. Uh, I've also got the, a drawing of the uh, horse's anatomy down here off camera you can't really see it and uh, that will help me with uh, the uh, muscles of the uh, face and everything I'm not going to show you all that because I do cover that in my uh, instructional videos online and uh, that you can purchase and a link to a review of those videos is in the video description below all right, let's get started on today and uh, see how far I get. I hopefully can get this horse's head done today. Time to play with some clay. All right, I just... Uh, slapping muscle structures onto the uh, horse's head and uh, emphasizing those. I'm not going to, like I did on the last horse's head, I didn't uh, cover over the muscles and smooth them out and all that and, and fine tune them. I want it to, to show through the muscles showing and through the sketchiness of it, just like I've done on the, the rest of the horse's bodies, uh, the violence of the uh, movement of the two horses. And I'm not worried as much about the uh, fine tuning as I would normally do, because I think you can get you can get some uh, pretty impressive feel of uh, a horse's violence through not fine-tuning everything. Let's see, I'm just going to... just barely hit that. There. And I've got a picture here someplace of the front part of the muzzle of the horse. There it is. You notice here how the uh, nostrils form a ridge on each side of the area from the top part of the uh, nose down to the lip and how it curves or gets wrinkled because of the horse's nose action and the, the lip action of the uh, horse. And so I'm going to try to get that here. Well, I haven't got the other nose done yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim that down just a little bit. And prepare that area for the nose on the other side. All of this works together to uh, give you the impression of uh, the horse's violent nature in this moment. I really like these small wire 
loops that come with uh, your glyptic wire tools. Um, as you can see, the uh, tool itself, uh, you get different shaped heads or loops uh, that you can put into the, these glyptic tools that you get from Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. The uh, it has a the, uh, Allen wrench screw, which you can't see very well because it's filled in with clay right now. But if you want to change out the head and you, or if it loosens up, you can either tighten the uh, Allen wrench screw or loosen it to take out the uh, wire uh, loop and put a new wire loop in with a different type of shape. And uh, that's what makes these so unique. You don't have to buy new handle and a new tool every time you want to change out uh, the wire loop in your tool. Okay, I've got the nose on both sides just about done. I've evened them out. And I've got that little structure in between the nose of uh, the soft skin of the upper lip that branches down off of the uh, bone structure of the uh, horse's nasal area. All right, I've been forgetting to say record to my cameras and I'm sitting here talking about what I'm doing and stuff like that and thinking the camera's recording and it isn't. And, uh, now well, it just, it's just the end of the day. I cannot take any more time to work on this. I've, it's taken me uh, a couple hours to get this far, but, uh, it's just a matter of getting everything balanced, uh, getting the noses, uh, the right openings uh, balanced and at the right level. And uh, next week I will work on the eyes of the uh, horse. And uh, I won't be showing much of that, but I will be reattaching this head onto that one fighting horse uh, at that time so until next week uh, i'm really liking the way this is coming out and uh, i'll pick this up next week good night everybody have a great weekend if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.